Sean with Blade Mate Lawn Care. Something a bit different today. Um, I'm going to do a vlog, a bit of a day in my life, just for something different. Um, first thing I do every day, except for Saturdays, is spend about an hour and a half in the gym. Selfie. Grab some sushi after. Good carbs to get me energised, bit of protein, following the workout. Should be right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get to work. Alrighty, so here we are, first one of the day. I'm not actually gonna film this because it is the one the same one that I filmed when I did my Rover Pro Cut review. Um, so it'll just be effective with the same video. Um, I'll put that link just down the bottom if you want to check that out. Uh, feel free. Um, it's one of those oddly satisfying ones. It was a little bit overgrown. But, yeah, so I won't, won't bother filming this one, but I'll uh, let you know how it goes. All done here. That was pretty straightforward. Oh, pups just come out to say good day. Hey, mate. His mum just had him locked up. Alrighty, on to the next one. So I got another one here, just just near my place. Um, just a one-off. This one, it's not a regular. But like I said, it's only a minute and a half drive from my house, so probably take me about an hour and a half. It's a big, quite a big corner block. That's it all the way down there to that fence. Front yard here. Um, and the backyard there, which is a kind of smallish to medium backyard. Okay, done the edges, blown it, done all the way around the corner as well, like where I showed you before. And time to mow.
I'll give my gear a blow down after every <laughs> job just to limit the possibility of weed transference. It's pretty irresponsible not to in this industry to be honest. Um, okay, so done here, let's check it out. Nice and neat. That's all it is. Um, just that. So sometimes this job's a bit of a lucky dip. Um, in the sort of jobs and clients that you get, oh, I come here expecting to do a big front corner block plus the backyard, and I quoted accordingly. Because um, this this client uh, got in touch with me through my Facebook page, and the first time I met her was when I went knocked on the door just before I started. Um, and yeah, she's like, no, no, just the front mate. Like, Ugh. So they felt a little bit bad. I overquoted, so I offered to knock a bit off the price, but she wouldn't have a bar of it, and she was happy to pay me that that quoted amount. Um, like I said, some clients are, are fantastic in that regard. I don't, I don't have any, any problem clients, any bad ones. I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep them around if they gave me grief. <laughs> um, it's a beauty of being your own boss, I guess. But yeah, no, so like I said, lucky dip, and this time I, I got a good, good prize. So thanks. So each job's different obviously and the client's requests are different. Uh, you may recognise this yard from a few videos ago when I was trying out my new Rover. Um, I don't mow it anymore, I was just doing that for a couple of cuts until the client's new ride on came. Uh, now he just wants me to do the edges and a little bit of weeding, so it's an hour of that every fortnight. So that's what I'm here to do today, so I'll just show you around. So I usually use my blade for that, just because it stops the runners from making their way into the garden. Not unlike that, and I'll rip that out while I'm there. And just here next to these tiles, I will use my uh, tr trimmer, line trimmer. Just, um, just don't want to risk the blade smashing those tiles. Just, same again around here, smash all that with me blade. And then this, this bit, it's pretty straightforward just with the blade, make it look tidy and he'll come mow over the top when he's ready of course I'll blow and all that stuff and then just run around the edges of all the garden beds with my whip snipper easy peasy and now what he wants me to do today is just uh, pick the weeds out of this garden so you can see a bit of grass there, a bit of weeds here um, all the way down there and that one just there that I walked past before and that's all he's got for me at this job. Let's get it done.
it's really important to do your utmost to really, you know, get rid of all the shit that's out of there. You just kind of want nothing, just dirt. That was with a whip. Um, it's not as crispy as using the blade. I don't care what anyone says. There's all these, I've come across a few elitists in the industry, they'll only use a whippersnipper, they won't ever use a blade. It's like some sort of dirty word using an edge blade. Um, so to you guys, congratulations. You're better than me, more skillful in fact. I'm pretty happy with how my bladed uh, edges turned out. Check this out. Quicker and easier too, stops the runners. And a whipper snipper, if it's long grass, you've got to really fight through. I don't use the edge exclusively. Um, a lot of lawns I only use the, the whipper snipper for, even when I'm doing the edges. It's more or less if they grow over pretty quick or if they're not yet established. So. Um, which for a lot of my videos are obviously uh, overground cleanups. I find myself using the edger a bit, but yeah, so hope that a little bit from my perspective with regards to the use of that. Um, yeah, it's all blown out, everything looks neat. I did that edge there, but I didn't bother filming it. It's just too long and a bit bloody boring. I want to go weed that back garden. So that one's done. It's a little bit warm today, it's only 32 degrees. So it's not obscene heat, but you know, it still sucks. Yo, so at uh, the next one, a um, couple of sticks on the ground here. So first thing I'm gonna do, just walk around, pick them up, chuck them in the bin. They're not huge, my mower could get them, but you know, it just prolongs the life of my mower blades that much, that much more. Especially because it only take me about a minute and a half just to do a quick walk around the yard. This one I'll just blow all the leaves onto the grass, catch it with my mower. So let's do that.
Oh yeah. Here's the front yard. All done. Much better. Not entirely leaf free, but I mean, you saw how much there was. Client never. She doesn't ask me to get rid of the leaves. It's just a byproduct of my work. So I'm not losing sleep if there's a couple left. Uh, neither she. Much better. Much neater. It's a bit of a cooch slash buffalo slash broad weed blend this lawn it's had a bit of rain it looks really nice minus the weeds of course but next door's buffalo and you can really see it kind of infecting those green patches there of buffalo coming into the cooch it's a shame here's the backyard nothing special it's a normal backyard it's pretty thick I uh, probably can't really tell a little bit of an incline now I do have a funny story about this yard so this is one of my oldest clients actually no she'd, she'd be my oldest client I've had her the longest now so when I was starting out you know still getting used to mowing several lawns a day you know, it's a bit of a step up from just doing your own and, and whatnot especially when time is money a jet flying overhead you know. Anyway, so I still working out, you know, the nuances of how to do it. And I was going the wrong way. I was going up and down the hill, which I've soon learned. Quickly learn is a pretty quick, good way to wear yourself out. You now just go sideways. But I had an old HRU216 Honda. It was old. It was cactus. The gearbox ran out. So they're heavy. <laughs> Yes, so heavy. So the funny story I'm telling you is I was mowing this lawn, going up and down the hill, pushing this heavy mower in this thick buffalo, and oh, it, it hammered me to the point I literally, sneaky sneaky, went around the corner to the bin and blue chunks. Oh, I was, I, was, I was fragged. I've done a lot of PT in my time in the army. Um, only once have I ever blown chunks from being so puffed out and mowing this lawn. I'm standing on with that bloody thing um, with no no bloody self propel mechanism working on it it hammered me I was done <laughs> anyway cool story let's get to work <laughs>
Oakley Doakley. We are done. This one. Um, you can kind of see that incline I was telling you about. More from this angle standing at the bottom here, I'll show you. There she is. Like I said, not huge, but I tell you what, buddy, when you're pushing a Honda 216 up there without a buddy gearbox, and you saw how thick that buffalo up there was, like the road was just coming stuck. A uh, point on that. So we'll just give you a bit, bit of a better look. Um, the client asked me to cut it short, that's why. I wouldn't normally go that short unless I've been asked to. Um, not to mention, he saw me kind of struggling through it. I also wouldn't have struggled through it like that. Were the whole lawn that difficult? It's really just kind of the first you know, metre and a half here. That's a bit of a challenge. Anyway, on to the next one. So we're at the next one. This is one of my favourites. Only takes me about an hour to do the whole lot. Just super locked in this one. Yeah, everyone has their favourite things. I'll show you. Here's the front yard. Nice and green. Nice and accessible. No twists and turns. Edging's nice and simple. Yeah, so I'll tell you why I like this one. Edge is done, I'm blind. Time to mow. Here's the back, not quite as neat as the front, and the kids have had a gym mat or something down here that they play on from time to time. Um, trampolines, 
uh, I've learnt not to move them. Just liability issues. You know, so if someone or one of the kids jump on it, the bloody thing wobbled out and, and broke and the kid hurt himself and it turns out that I was the last person to have moved it, I'm liable. So I just don't put myself in that position. I'll get under there as best I can with my mower and the whipper snipper. Um, but yeah, I just, I just won't move the structure of it. And that's it, just up there. So pretty smooth sailing. I will mow over, over all the top of this, just cause obviously needs a new turf or something, but yeah, problem for another day.
done. That's it. On to the next. Actually, just like the first one, I'm not going to film this because I also have another video on this one. I'll link it in the description, but it's actually the second one I ever uploaded. Now, actually, I'm not going to film this one because oh, I have already done a video on this one. I'll put a link in the description. Change your mind ever so slightly. I just want to film this bit. I did film this bit in my other video. But I'm going to film it again because I've got a bit better camera this time. It's super satisfying. Just this big thick grass that's about to get smashed by my edger and my whipper snipper. Watch this. enjoy those bits well finally home big day I'm knackered <laughs> I'm knackered pretty sure the missus went and got fish and chips though so that's good I'm gonna go on carb load and drink a lot of water thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it see you next time